I can tell you that within our community, the first auxiliary that was founded was for women. Ahmadiyya Muslim Women's Association or Lajna Imayla will celebrate its 100 years in year 2022 all over the world. One of the main purpose of foundation of this organization was to enhance and promote religious and secular education of the Ahmadi women so that women realize their true potential. Women's progress leads to the progress of a religion. Remember that no religion can progress until and unless its women progress. For Islam's progress, it is important that you progress. Women are like two walls in the four walls of a room. If two walls of a room were to fall, would the ceiling of that room remain intact? No, absolutely not. Lajna was established on the 25th of December, 1922. Hazrat Muslim Maud, anhu, he was a great administrator. He realized that Lajna were half the population of the Jamaat and therefore he wanted Lajna to participate in all Jamaat activities and he wanted them to be active members of the community. For this reason, Hazrat Muslimaut, prompted by his wife, Hazrat Amtul Hay Begum Sahiba, Anha, established Lajna. If you read the speeches and addresses delivered by Hazrat Muslimaut, round about the time when he founded Rajna Maila, there is so much guidance and wisdom in it. And he wanted to empower women. I think these kind of events where Lajna, with different abilities, they all come together and work as a team. It does portray to some extent, what has Muslim Aud wanted. Yes, and, and the meaning of them. Uh, I, yes, I know, that's what I was I going to say, that the meaning Chinese, is also, yeah. Yeah. yes, we do, because we they have a sample of Chinese translation in the marquee. Yeah, I heard. Actually, yeah. makes people quite interested. I was just speaking to a Chinese lady who wrote it. Oh, they wanted to. Yes, yes, and she said, I found the writing really, really beautiful, and we were talking, and I said to her, look, the meanings are even more beautiful. Yes. So she's going to go and see the Chinese translation. Yeah. Yes. You're sitting next to me. Oh, okay. lovely. Are you chairing? Yes. Great. Can you make an announcement that we're starting in a minute? So everyone sit down. I think the work that's happening in this mosque with these women is incredible in terms of opening up their homes and their hearts to women around them to make genuine friendships for peace. An absolute honour to be invited um, to, to, to an event that is run by women, arranged by women, uh, hosted by women. And to see so many women in one room all together is quite an inspiration. What this does for me and what it does for other women out there is it makes them feel like a united front. It's a hall full of hundreds, nearly a thousand women of all races, colours, creeds, who are dedicated to empowering not only themselves but as many women who come into contact with them. We are quite used to organising events which are larger than this. For example, our Jalsa Salana and our Ijtima. The only issue is when they close and they've got a lack of manpower. And you have to really, really speak to your team about keeping a smile and trying to help. Lajna play an equal role uh, with uh, the men's side because without their support and help, we would not be able to achieve the smooth running of the Jalsa that we have during this uh, three days period. So we have peace symposium, we have interfaith events, then we have sports events. Our national ishtama, which is held at the end of the year, which is like a culmination of the whole year's efforts, is again a full showcase of that um, uh, religious knowledge that the ladies have gained. So Alhamdulillah, the whole Lajna calendar year um, is quite full and we do try our best to see that we stick to the constitution and to the initial vision of Hazrat Muslim Aud Hazrat uh, Muslim Aud put down 17 objectives uh, before the core Lajna team and um, this was duly signed by them and that became the constitution. The purpose of these objectives were that each Lajna would undertake to for self-reformation that she would strive to become a better Muslim, a better mother, a better wife so that 
um, the, the, the well-being of the community lies largely on ladies. So these objectives were laid down so that women would understand their responsibilities beyond the domestic chores. No nation in the world can ever succeed without a clear direction and objective which is not pursued by all the women and children as well. Hence, it is the ultimate duty of every Jamaat that they improve the moral and social state of every man, woman and child. Particularly, to empower and guide women, the establishment of Lajna is of crucial importance. Every woman has many roles to play. And personally, obviously, I have uh, many roles as well. I would always put my role as a mother at the top. The responsibility of Sadda Lajna UK is quite huge and immense and I also um, am a doctor, um, I'm a GP. Although I work part-time, I'm also a wife. <laughs> um, I have a home to look after. Um, I think what I have found is that within any role, um, obviously you need Allah's blessings. Also, this role gives me a huge opportunity to take direct guidance from Hazur Anwar Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asril Aziz and his prayers and his guidance has been huge and it has made all the difference. When we requested this mulaqat of beloved Hazur, I wasn't expecting such a large group, mashallah. You have to be considerate of each other. As I said, this is your opportunity. I, it's up to you what questions you ask, but I would want you to focus on the issues that you face. This morning, I walked into the main Mahmood Hall where you're going to have the mulaqat and I looked at the space. It's been causing me a lot of panic. <laughs> Sarah Bhaji, five minutes? I think we need to get them to start sitting. Do you think so? Have you got time more? It's 10, 10.26. Um, Annie, bring the girls. Sadia, bring the girls. Can all of you come and sit down here? Can you do the head count? girls go up near school, university or work environment mein kis tarah, is tarah ke questions ka jawab dena chahiye. The current Sadar Saiba, she is the fourth Sadar that I'm working with and I have seen that each with each Sadar that the, the, the amount of work, the, the, the quality of work, um, the expectations, it just change, has changed enormously and the role has grown enormously. So Lajna are now, now uh, involved in all Jamaat events. It's not just in Lajna Amala UK, but it happens throughout the world that Lajna take active role and they set their own programs and they are um, expected and they are able to, uh, to show to society that we are women who can do everything. The Sadar Lajna Amala that I saw growing up was Choti Appa. Hazrat Sayyida Maryam Siddiqa, wife of Hazrat Muslim Aud Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. Although I was too young, I never worked in any of Lajna or Nasrat capacity under her, uh, but I saw her working and her dedication and commitment was second to none. She was my role model. She still is. She was an amazing woman with amazing capabilities that she managed to give time to everyone, to Jamaat, to Lajna, to family members um, and still did it beautifully and her accomplishments are in history of Lajna. <laughs> The vision that he had for Lajna and my love and he founded it, I do not think that we have achieved it yet. It is still a journey.